Hey there, I'm, I'm back uh, for an exclusive question and answer uh, session here, just uh, for those that have been hosting or attending uh, the party tonight in honor of the Humankind Ministries Humanitarian Awards. Uh, thanks for doing your part. You guys have been spectacular uh, for, the, for the homeless, for our homeless neighbors here. Uh, our, our first question tonight is, uh, is a good one. Um, I'll, I'll answer about five of these for you here. So uh, what initially interested you about coaching? Well, I'll tell you, I, I love uh, the opportunity in which I have to teach. And uh, I love being around uh, young people and watching them learn. There, there's a satisfaction that comes uh, when you see, when you give the player something that you've thought out uh, that might help them even be better than they are, and then they take it up another notch and they have success with it. And um, and, and then I love that challenge of also playing uh, and, and competing against others. I, I've done this since I was a kid. I mean, I've actually worked on my profession since I was a child and uh, when I played football. And uh, and so, uh, but that challenge of, of going against another coach that spent so much time working to, to better you. I, I love that part of the challenge. So anyways, working with people and, and, and the challenge and to keep myself around the sport and around these, these great kids is uh, it's amazing. Uh, the second question, uh, uh, your players seem to love you. I'm many referring to you as a friend, mentor, and uh, the best coach they've ever had. What do you think it is about your coaching style that endears such loyalty and affection from your players and how do you think it has contributed to your and your team success in the NFL? So, uh, you know, I mentioned before that um, there are, I have a few players on our team now that, that were homeless growing up and, and uh, they, they've relied on on coaches, um, and it's just not the ones that were homeless. It's the other guys. They've relied on coaches as a as a support uh, throughout their careers, and and so when they come um, to the Chiefs, we have a we have kind of a motto. It's the last thing they see when they leave the building, and and what it is is you come in as teammates, you leave as family. So I think that that starts at the Hunt family is phenomenal, also with including the wives, significant others, and, and the kids in different events throughout the year. I mean, they do a great job of that. So there's this, there's this family atmosphere. My wife, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Tammy that, and her nurturing with, uh, with the players also. And she just does a, does a great job uh, helping the wives through whatever situations. I mean, many of them have kids. And, and so she, uh, she's the head coach of the head coach. She's had five kids, I joke people, and it's completely ruined my body. But she, she's able to uh, help them navigate just like she had to do when she was when she was younger. And coaches' wives helped her uh, through those. So, anyways, that's uh, probably why there there's those feelings there. Um, you uh, it says uh, you clearly have a special relation uh, relationship with Patrick Mahomes. When did you know that Patrick was a good match? with you and the Chiefs. Well, listen, um, Brett Veach, I, our general manager, I give credit to bringing him there. He talked John Dorsey and I into to taking Patrick. And and, um, and and so we had a chance to meet with him before the draft. And I go, man, this guy is perfect. It's, he's everything that Brett told me was. Brett said he's the best player he's ever seen. And and so I've, we've been able to see that. He, he he's, a, he's a great kid. and. I mean, as good a football player as you guys see, he's even a better person. And and how he handles people in situations is, uh, my hat goes off to him. At such a young age, and he, you know, he's just going to keep getting better as a football player, and and uh, and and he'll maintain that foundation that he has as a as a person. But I have I have a lot of respect for him on how he he goes about his business. I was able to see that when he was when he was young and and new. So he's still. He's only in his third year, going in his fourth year, so it's he's still a pup. Good question, though. If uh, the next one was, if you weren't coaching football, what would you be doing? Well, 
I I don't know that exactly. I I, I dabbled with. Uh, I have a minor in English. I love that. I probably took enough class to almost be a major in English. I I love that. Um, I taught that as my I student taught in that area. Um, I, I don't know. I was intrigued with medicine too. I I have a mother, or I had a mother. I've, She's always your mother, but she's passed since, but um, she was a doctor. And so I, I was intrigued with that. Um, and, and so, I mean, there were, there were a few things that I had going, but uh, my coach in college, um, Lavelle Edwards, I went to Brigham Young University. Lavelle Edwards uh, asked me before my senior year, what would you, you know, what would you think about coaching? And I said, well, you know, let's, let's give it a shot. So went that direction and, um, and I loved it and never looked back. So um, he, he saw something in me that, that I didn't see, but um, I sure appreciate him doing that. Um, when football is over for Andy Reid, uh, what does the future hold? Well, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm 62 right now, and, I'm, I, and until I have to look in the mirror, I feel like I'm 25. So I love what I'm doing. Uh, I haven't really thought about what was going to go on after all of this, but um, I'm sure there'll be something out there. I'm not going to just sit around. I'm, I'm not a big golfer. Um, so I, uh, there are a million things I'd love to do, but uh, I have little hobby type things. And somewhere I want to learn how to play the piano and, and the guitar. So I got to fit that into the schedule. Uh, but right now I'm coaching football and I, I honestly feel honored and privileged uh, to be able to do this um, every day and, and work with these kids. I mean, they're, they're amazing and, and uh, the coaches I have are phenomenal and I work for a great organization. So like the people that are helping with this program here, um, there's a certain dedication and love in which they present to you. And I, I, that's why I like this, this organization, why I'm talking to you, because there's some real similarities on passion. And obviously to, to help the homeless, it takes great passion and, uh, and love. And so uh, that parallels what, how I feel about uh, the job that I do. So with that, thank you. I appreciate uh, the time tonight, and uh, um, I'm just honored to have uh, had this opportunity to spend it with you. I wish again, I wish I could could have been there, um, but I got a couple of things I'm working on. All right, again, uh, uh, go Chiefs, and uh, and and thank you.